Congratulations on the win over Hammond, and you're now 2-0 and on the season. You're defending state champion uh, AC Floor Boys, but you're going to kind of have an early season measuring stick perhaps uh, when you play at Chapin tomorrow. Lots of, obviously, it's a big rivalry. We know that there's, uh, it's heated to say the least. Uh, I, I know that it also brings out the best on both teams, though, doesn't it? Chapin has always been a good measuring stick for both boys and girls, and um, I'm hoping we'll have some great matches across the board there a well-coached team full of depth, just like we are. So hopefully we'll uh, bring our A game and show up. How have you felt about the boys you know, coming off the state title? And I know it's easy, especially at that age, to kind of feel good about yourselves a little bit. Have they have they done what they needed to do to put last year, kind of put that one away and, and, and realize that this is a whole new season? To be seen. Uh, I, it's hard being that when you raise the bar to the state championship, you can sit back and say, this is easy, we can do it again. Or you can say, we got to work for it again. So mm -hmm. your pressure's on you. So they've got to bring it got, every match at a time. You got a lot of talent on this team. Just talk a little bit, of, if you will, about uh, some of your starters especially. Starters and um, the depth have always been huge, um, especially, well, across the boys and girls, especially with the boys last year. But um, on any given day, I think I could feel um, – one and two are always strong, give or, give or take, across the board. But three, four, five, six, seven, eight could go probably any way back and forth. So, which is a great problem to have. So, and double and having a strong double team. Absolutely. So. Well, best of luck to you. Out of shape and tomorrow night, the Falcons and uh, the Eagles, yep. the Battle of the Birds. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you.